Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Heather Rose Up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can follow along on my weight loss journey. So today's video, I will be doing an update for the past two weeks because I never posted last week's update. So I'm going to combine the two. So if you'd like to see how I've done in the past two weeks with the first update being Thanksgiving week, keep watching. So today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and I've been up for a little while and um, I've been doing really well with tracking so far. I had ended the night with five weekly smart points, which is where I was at this time last week. Oh, look at this hair. This is, I just woke up here. Um, except I didn't just wake up. <laughs> um, anyway, five weekly smart points left and um, this morning we're having cinnamon rolls for breakfast and surprisingly the Aldi brand cinnamon rolls are only six smart points so I'm pretty happy about that. I do plan on indulging today and just kind of my plan is to keep track of it all and just to try to track it as best as I can so um, that's the plan and I also plan on enjoying my Thanksgiving and uh, we'll see how things go. I will try to check back in later today. Maybe I'll share my food. So keep watching. I'm pooped. Okay, so Thanksgiving was a success. I just sat down <laughs> and I tracked everything I ate and drank. Now, um, I kind of sort of kept track at as the day or the evening and day and evening went along and I started making like tallies. I actually put some of my recipes in the recipe builder ahead of time to make it a little easier. And then dinner, I took a picture of my plate and then kind of guesstimated or my point value um, based off of that. Um, and I had 22 points for dinner <laughs> considering it was Thanksgiving and there was a lot of food and I didn't deprive myself. And, uh, yeah, I think I did pretty good. And I'm negative 16 weeklies, and tomorrow they start over. Considering it's Thanksgiving, I think I did really well, and I'm glad that I was kind of being mindful as the night went along. I didn't, like I said, I didn't deprive myself. I had dessert. So it was a good Thanksgiving. It was a successful Thanksgiving, and I was mindful. But I indulged as well, and I feel good about it. I still plan on weighing in tomorrow. Um and going from there. I hope everybody else had a happy Thanksgiving. I will check back in tomorrow and let you guys know how weigh-in goes. It is the day after Thanksgiving and I just got back from my workshop and I weighed in and I gained 1.2 pounds. I was waiting in line to weigh in with zero expectations. Um, knowing that it's 10 o'clock in the morning and that whatever I weigh in could quite literally be what I ate yesterday still. <laughs> so, um, but I wanted to go to get, to stay in the habit of showing up and to weigh myself so I can hold myself accountable because part of me didn't want to go today. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm going to be up. So what's the point? But then I knew it would be a slippery slope of getting in the habit of saying, oh, I just don't want to weigh in. So I need to keep myself in check and I knew that going today would help me with that. Now, during the workshop, I started to think of all of the leftovers that we have in our house and I don't want the food to go to waste. And um, I have some different ideas on what to do to lighten, you know, to use leftovers to make meals so I'm not just sitting there grazing all day. Um, and But it's going to be heavier in points and um, yeah, and I started to get a little nervous and thinking, well, let me just eat the leftovers and we'll get this out of the house and then I'll start over. Knowing that that is also a slippery slope of thinking. I'm glad I went to the workshop because we started um, talking about bouncing back when you're off track and there was different scenarios that we went over and I realized that just showing up to my workshop isn't enough. I still have to put the effort and the work into it. You can't just pay and expect to lose weight, right? So in the workshop, it was discussed um, the topic of the healthy hop the healthy habits option on your app 
um, came up and she said, you know, this is, so we have the weight loss and healthy habits and then the healthy habits. The healthy habits option is essentially maintenance. And she explained, you know, this is when you're in maintenance, but you can also utilize this feature on your app when you feel like you need extra points. And going on vacation, for example, is one way to utilize that option or that app option. And then I started to think, well, I don't want to waste my leftovers, but I also don't want to just throw caution to the wind and just forget what I'm eating. So I said, you know, maybe this would be a good idea for me to do this week because I'm feeling anxious about the food that I still have in my house, but I want some sort of sense of control. So I decided to switch my app to healthy habits, which means next week I might not have a game, or I might not have a loss, but I'm continuing on with healthy habits and being mindful of what I'm eating and staying in control, or at least I'm going to try to do that. So my goal for this week is to stay on the healthy habits option on my app, which gives me five extra daily points every day, which will hopefully help me stay on track even with a house full of left leftovers. That's my goal. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm going to take it one day at a time. I'm still feeling anxious about it and I hope that I can just kind of get through it and be a little bit more mindful than I would have maybe last year. So my goal for next week is to stay on plan. Again, no changes for the past couple of weeks and hopefully I will at least maintain this week. Next week, I would like to work on weight loss a little bit more, but we're gonna worry about that next week. I'm going to worry about that next week. Okay, so today is Sunday, December 8th, and I went into my workshop on Friday and I weighed in and before I get to how I did with my weigh in, let me kind of backtrack and reflect on how I did last week. Uh, my goal that I said, as you saw in the previous clip, was to vlog every day to keep myself in check, hold myself accountable and go from there. And I did not do that. I had a lot of struggling and the point of this channel is to record all aspects of this weight loss journey and there's a lot of struggle there's always going to be struggle when you are working at anything in life you're going to have bumps in the road so i want to record my struggle and discuss that because it's important and if you're watching this following along on, on my journey and you have your own journey know that you're not alone when you're struggling uh, and this is also for my own purpose to look back and say, look, I accomplished this and I got through this bump in the road. Okay, going forward. This week, this past week was a struggle for me. And it's funny because I did really well on Thanksgiving, but I struggled with the week after with all those stupid leftovers. <laughs> and I know I'm, sh and I'm sure that many of you can relate with that. You don't want to waste food. I'll, obviously, holiday food is a little bit higher in, you know, points, etc., um, and then it just became a downward spiral and I just stopped tracking and continued to eat. And my results on Friday reflected that. Uh, so I weighed in and I gained 1.4 pounds and the week prior I gained 1.2. So bump in the road. My focus, I realize I struggle with the holidays because I focus a lot on holiday foods and I'm sure many of you can relate again with that because there's a lot of more indulgent foods and drinks during the holiday. But I'm really trying to focus on balancing. I don't want to completely deprive myself of those treats because they are fun, especially when you're making them with your family, etc. But the holidays are not all about food and drink. And it's funny because I, I feel like I'm saying the exact same words that my coach De uh, Debbie from WW Works For Me on Instagram said, because she's absolutely right. And there's so much more that I could be focusing on during the holidays than the food. It's part of it, absolutely. It is fun, but it's not all of it. It's not all about food. And I'm trying to remember that. I had, last week I struggled, uh, I had experienced a gain, but uh, the best part of WW for me is going into the workshops. Fridays, I always leave feeling empowered, like, okay, fresh start. 
So it's a great way for me. It's a great tool for me to regroup, refocus, and figure it out. So the focus was um, in that workshop, it was about focusing on your zero smart point foods. I have a ton of them on the purple plan. I really do. So, so I need to remember that and use those to help me balance the fun foods of the holidays. Uh, yesterday, I went with my family to Six Flags. We went and celebrated the holiday in the park, which is so much fun, but there's also a ton of festive foods and festive drinks. And I knew I wanted to, to share those and to have some treats with my family because they're going to be having them as well. And we have meal passes, so our food is already paid for. Uh, which is a good thing and, and uh, you know makes it a little bit more difficult as well. So I knew I would be indulging. So I so I planned for that and the rest of yesterday, Saturday, mo but prior to going to Six Flags, I was careful. I tracked my food and I made sure I ate lower smart point value food so I could celebrate that. So I wrote in my weekly success planner for the week that my goal was to work on balance, especially during the holidays. And I wrote down that I was going to track everything except for Six Flags. So I went to Six Flags and I was mindful with what I ate. I had indulgent treats, but I didn't have full portions. And I shared some things with my family instead of having my own, which was great. And then I came home and I was like, you know what? I bet it, I, I was mindful about what I ate. Let me track it to see how bad it was. What have I got to lose? So I did. And I still have 16 weekly smart points on a Sunday. Yes, I just got them on Friday, but with going out and indulging. So it really, I, I can balance. It's hard and I'm going to have to put a lot more effort in thinking about having the right mindset, but I can do hard things. And I can enjoy the holidays with having the food and drinks being only part of it. I'm rambling. But it was hard yesterday, but he did it. And I still tracked it. So I went above and beyond what my goal was for yesterday. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And my husband is clapping. He's listening. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Um, we're here to support each other. And then I started thinking about how much fun Holiday in the Park was besides the food. We enjoyed the lights. We enjoyed the shows. We enjoyed being together. And we had a lot of fun and it wasn't all about the food. So I'm going to try to continue to have that mindset. It's not, you know, I'm not always going to be like, yes, I did it. There might be some times between now and our holidays are going to be a little bit extended because we're, fa our family is so big. So we're actually celebrating the holidays into the end of January. So I'm going to have to figure this out and figure out balance and then focus on family and fun without the food. But still enjoy the, the food too. This is a struggle, but I can do it. Okay, so moving on. What I plan on doing for this week is hopping on here every single day and just talking about my day and talking about even if it is even if it is a struggle. So we'll see how things go. So my goal is to work on balance this week. But to be specific, I want to vlog how I'm balancing each day. So stay tuned for next week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you can relate to having to, to focus on balance for the holidays, give it a thumbs up. I'm curious to see how you are balancing things. So give me some suggestions in the comments. And also tell me one thing that you enjoy about the holidays that is non-food or drink related. Maybe we can help each other balance and focus on the right things. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in next week's update. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in a week. Bye, guys.